Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a get ready with me and just kind of chat with you guys. So I thought I would do everything. So my hair is freshly washed, so I'm actually going to style my hair as well as do my daytime skincare. So I'm going to do that. So let's just jump into this and we'll just start chatting. I'm not sure what we're going to chat about, but we're just going to chat. So if you guys are interested, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do my skincare. I don't want to touch my hair and do hair products and then do skincare. That would be silly. So I'm going to start with this product right here. I received this from Octoly. So Octoly and Filgoria sent this to me, complimentary to review. This is the Filgoria C Recover Concentrate. So basically it's a high concentrated C serum. So it's really interesting when you get this too because it comes in like a three pack. So when you open it, you're like, okay, so none of it's put together. The actual like applicator thing is actually, or not applicator, but the syringe is not connected to it. So when you get the bottles, they come in a package like this. So then what you're gonna do is, the top one here, you're actually gonna push this really hard. And then that is going to disperse the powder that's inside of here into the actual serum. So that way there it's freshly made each time that you're using it. It's not like something that's been sitting around the shelf for a long time. So it's just made up when you're ready to use it. So that's really cool in my opinion. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to use the little C serum, C recovery serum actually. So I'm going to put some of this on. It looks very milky. It doesn't look like a typical serum to me. It looks more like, I don't know, like a lotion, but it's not as thick as a lotion. So I put it on the back of my hand here and I'm just going to put that onto my skin. My skin can definitely use some help. I've got a lot of acne issues going on, but I think it came from my poor eating habits. I don't know about you guys, but I've been eating really, really bad since we've been like all at home. I know like I eat things that are probably not the best for me. And of course, like for me, I can't eat anything that contains peanuts. So I think I may have had something that was cooked in peanut oil, which is wonderful. So this feels really nice. It's nice and hydrating and smoothing and it's, it's sinking in pretty quickly too. So what I'm going to do to get it to sink in even better is, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but if you have one of these little roller balls, these are perfect to actually help to get your skincare to sink in quickly. What I like to do with mine first though is like, since it's been sitting for a little while, is spray it with alcohol and then take a clean cloth and just kind of wipe it off a little bit. And that way there it's clean and sanitary. You're not rubbing something on your face that's just been sitting in your room. It's clean. So now I'm just going to rub this on my skin. Not only does this feel good and help the serum sink in faster, but it's very cooling. So if you have any kind of puffiness going on in your face, it's going to help to diminish the puffiness. So you can actually flip and do the eye side as well. So I'm just going to help get that serum to actually sink into my skin. Feels really nice. Oh, this feels really nice actually. I love the little roller. Mmm, good. If you have one of those little refrigerators in your room, that would be good to keep it in there as well. So let me spray the eye side as well. And then let me wipe that off. All right. So now I'm just going to make sure this is, ah, oh, yeah, that feels good. I have, I think, an eye serum I can use too. Actually, let me again put the eye serum on. So we have the Saturday Skin. This is the Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. So this was actually sent to me complimentary from Octoly and Saturday Skin as well. So they sent this to me to review. I've already talked about this with you guys, but I thought I would use it with you guys. I don't know why, but I have a hard time getting this thing to pump sometimes. So it is a little bit thinner of a consistency, which is great for under your eyes. You're not going to get those Melia bumps, which is really awesome because they're really hard to get rid of. Once you get them, it's hard to get rid of those. So I'm just going to put it all around. I don't know if it's an actual orbital cream, to be honest, but we're just going to use it like it is. Probably don't want it down on your cheekbone, though. So now I'm going to take the little eye part here and just roll that serum in. Make sure I get it into the corners as well. Oh, this feels so good. I think it really does help with the puffing around your eyes, especially these little quartz things. This one came in my Ipsy little bag that I got that was like that Ipsy deal. Oh, this feels good. I have a couple of these though, so I need to actually keep one in my purse because these are also good. I found like if you get migraines, rolling this across your face really helps. So does my Foreo though. My Foreo, it's really weird when I get like sinus pressure in my head. If I take my Foreo and I like just like kind of vibrate it right here in the center of my head, I think it kind of breaks down the sinus problem. So it's weird. So roll that in. That's good. All right, so that's done. Now I'm going to close this up, make sure it's nice and tight. 
sea serums, you want to make sure you keep them in a place there's not a whole, like, a whole lot of light getting to them. So I'm actually going to put these in my little refrigerator that I have. This sits down behind me over here. That's where they're going to stay stored at. So the next thing I'm going to use is, this is actually a mask that you're supposed to use at nighttime. So it's, you're only supposed to put it on for 10 minutes or you can leave it on for overnight. But you guys know me, I have very, very dry skin. So I'm actually going to put this on for the whole day. So this is the Clarins Hydra Essential Moisturizing Reviving Eye Mask. So I'm going to put this under my eyes, just a little bit right here on the outer portion. I'm going to put it on and then we're going to use that for today. This actually was sent to me also from Octley and Clarins. So thank you so much to Octley and Clarins for sending this to me. Complimentary to review. This comes out blue, which is really cool. So hopefully it doesn't stay blue. No, I don't think it, I know it doesn't because I've used it once before, but honestly, when you're tired at nighttime, I don't think you pay as much attention to your skincare. You're just like, whatever. So somebody had, I think well, I was watching a video and they were like talking about why you should put your creams on with your, your ring fingers. And the reason why is because your ring finger actually has the least amount of pressure. So you're not putting so much pressure under your eyes. You want to not put any kind of pressure under your eyes because that's actually going to cause a lot of damage to your eyes. So I always go in very light handed. So there we go. Now the last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and moisturize my whole skin. So I'm going to use the Kopari. This is the coconut face cream. This came in my boxy charm. So I have this all separated so that we can do one side of my face is going to be, well not one side. <laughs> some of the products are going to be Ipsy products. Some are going to be boxy charm and some are just things from my stash. So we're going to go ahead and use this as my face cream for today. I love Kopari. I love their coconut, their makeup melter oh that's awesome my dogs the only problem is my dogs like it too because it actually is coconut cream so or coconut oil and my dogs whenever they smell it on my skin they try to look like crazy so i'm like guys you can't be licking me okay but you can actually give your dogs coconut oil i don't think i'd give them the kapari one because kapari is quite it's not super expensive but it is a little more pricey so i don't think i'd give them the kapari one but you can give your dogs coconut oil if you want to help their hair. So I do give my dogs a little bit of coconut oil mixed into their food. I'm thinking about, I was watching Coffee Break with Danny, and she started using, I can't remember what it was, Farmer's Dog or Farmer something. I don't remember what it was. But she was watching, she was watching, she purchased this dog food subscription service for her dogs. And I was like, you know what, maybe I should do that for my dogs because my dogs are really picky. I used to make their food like from, from scratch like for a long time and then it got to the point where when my girl dog got pregnant she didn't like it anymore so then I tried making it again after she was pregnant and she still didn't like it so I think I might try that service because it's like fresh food delivered to your dogs like every three weeks so that's really cool so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take my hair out of this little hair thing here so these are just the kind that, I don't know what this one like the brand is uh let me see if it has a name on it does it have a name on here? Um, this is the Daily Concepts. So these are great though because this has a little um, elastic part here and then a button on the front. So you can actually button it together and it stays in place. So if you don't want to walk around with the wet hair and have it dripping all over you, they're really helpful. So I'm going to use this right here. This is from uh, Sexy Hair. So this is the Long Sexy Hair Luxe Detangler with Moringa Oil and Biotin. I have not tried this yet so I don't know how good it is. But we're going to try it today. Sexy Haired and Octoly did send this to me complimentary for review. So I'm going to try it out. It says it's ideal for long hair and extensions. I do have extensions that I can use this in as well. So if it doesn't work for my hair, I can use it on the extensions. Um, spray onto damp hair and gently comb through for an even application. Blow dry in style. Okay. So it's just a spray detangler. I'm trying to see if I can smell it. Oh yes, I do smell it. It smells really good. Oh, it smells really nice actually. So I'm just going to spray it all over and then I'm going to comb my hair to make sure that I get an even distribution. Probably I've already put too much. I put too much oil the other day in my hair and I had just washed it and it looked like a grease head. I looked terrible. I was like, oh my gosh, what did you do? So now I'm going to comb it. So when you comb your hair, you should always start at the bottom. I don't know. I mean, you guys probably already know this. Start at the bottom and work your way up to where your tangles are. And that helps for less breakage in your hair. So start at the bottom, work your way up. I have to do the same things with my dogs because my little girl, she gets like really bad tangles. So I have to detangle her hair the same way. 
you don't want to hurt your puppy when you're like doing their hair that wouldn't be fun i feel like your guys are up really high let me move you just a little bit there we go is that better mm -hmm. so again just keep on brushing starting at the bottom and working your way up i'm gonna probably blow dry my hair today using my dyson so i have my little dyson tool here this is the one my husband bought me so i'm probably going to use that too so I might have to fast forward that part because the, it's not that the blow dryer is really loud, but I don't really like hearing a blow dryer. So I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear a blow dryer. So that's just what we're going to do. All right. So I could let it air dry, but my hair never looks really good when I air dry. It looks kind of weird in my opinion, <laughs> but it's just me. Maybe, maybe I'm just too critical of my own self. And don't tug your tangles either. That's something I've learned trying to get my hair to grow because I want my hair a little longer for our valve renewal this summer, which I'm hoping we'll still get to be able to do. I've got to go get a dress still. I've got to, I've got everything else planned. I've booked the food. I've booked the photographer. I booked the um, person baking the cake. I've booked the place where we're doing it. Where, Of course, we're doing it at um, the... Nights and the house, so I'm really excited about that. So I've got to get everything on the ball though because it's coming up really soon. I don't know how many people are going to be able to actually come since everything everybody's supposed to be kind of staying at home. Not really. I think they've lifted most of that, but a lot of people are still staying at home and they choose not to go out and about, which I totally understand. So I don't know how many people will come if it's just me and my husband and the two boys. And that'll be fine by me because I mean honestly this is more or less just something I wanted to do like just a renewal so next I'm gonna use this this came out of boxy charm this is the IGK good behavior this has spirulina protein it's a smoothing spray so it says it has keratin like treatment in a can 24-hour frizz control and it is for heat protection up to 450 degrees so I went ahead and put a heat protector on my hair that actually did a pretty good job on detangling and it smells really good so I don't really want to spray over top of it it just smells very clean I really like that so now we spray a little bit of this and then I think you're supposed to brush this end as well. So we'll brush it one more time just to make sure that all of our tangles are gone. So this is just your heat protection. All right, so we've got heat protection on and let me brush this one more time to make sure that is evenly distributed. All right, my hair is actually growing. I can't believe it, oh my gosh. My hair is so hard to grow. If you guys have any tips or suggestions on how to get your hair to grow, let me know because I would definitely love to hear them. I know jojoba oil is actually really good for your hair and that was the oil that I had put in my hair the other day that I put way too much so that was not good. All right so now I'm going to blow dry so I might just uh, start it and then fast forward you guys while I'm blow drying. All right, <laughs> it's not all the way finished, but what I'm going to do is change heads out and I'm going to grab this one. This is like the round brush. I think it's called a round brush. So I'm going to try to get my hair to have a little more volume. So I'm going to finish blow drying with this tool. I think I have a hair stuck to my face. Okay, so let us dry a little bit by itself for a little bit. Just because I'm not really wanting to spend too much time on it, I just wanted to get most of it dry because I don't like having wet hair touching my skin. It's, I don't, that's like one of those things that I just don't like. So I'll finish my hair later and use the curling little um, tools with this actual tool with this blur or whatever it's called. So now I'm going to start with my skincare, or not skincare, oh my gosh, I already did skincare. I'm going to start with my makeup. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make sure my hands are nice and clean. So I'm going to use the Grove Hand Sanitizer Gel. This is in Blood Orange. So since I've been touching my hair, I want to make sure my hands are clean. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. 
and we're good to go so now we're gonna go ahead and use the benefit this is the professional this is the one that's supposed to be hydrating so it's a hydrating primer it's really interesting how this comes out though because it comes out like tan colored but then it it still kind of helps with your pores but then it hydrates as well so it's a very interesting little tool here so <laughs> I did get this in BoxyCharm so I'm going to actually put this on my where's my little clear acrylic block I don't know where I put it oh here it is I'm gonna put this on my little clear acrylic block here and then put that onto my skin all right close that up tap this on my main pore areas that I always concerned I'm always concerned about is like around my nose and my cheeks so I like to try to really get that area pretty good so I'm gonna put it all over it smells kind of good too it smells kind of fresh it just has a fresh scent to it so my forehead I remember when my son was little he came to me and he said mom I got my forehead when am I gonna get my fifth head I about died laughing that was hilarious kids are funny they say some really crazy things sometimes all right so we're done with that part now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation I'm going to use the it cosmetics this is the Baba -ba foundation this did come in I think boxy term I'm pretty sure so I'm going to use this this is in the shade light so it looks a little bit in my opinion a little gray when you first put it on but I've had other people disagree with me and say that they don't think it looks gray you guys have to see my little sponge holder so I found this little toilet and the Dollar Tree of course I sanitized and everything but it's just I thought it was cute isn't that cute it's like like hollow in the back but it's great just to hold your little beauty sponge so if you want something unique to hold your little beauty sponge I think it works so now I'm gonna dip the sponge in I can't remember what the sponge is it was sent to me but I don't remember what the brand is that's the only thing bad about when you get sponges that you're not sure what the brand is because then like how do you know because there's it's not written on most of them like even the beauty blender doesn't even have beauty blender written on it. You'd think that they would have done that to kind of like differentiate them from like the people that try to copy them, but they don't unless they do with the new ones. Cause I haven't bought a beauty blender in a while to be honest. Cause I'm like, uh, there's so many more things out there on the market that are way more affordable. Like I really like the paw paw sponges from what is that shop miss a, those are really, really good. They're super soft, but this one was clean and it was, ready to go so I just grab this one I kind of just use whatever's clean as long as it's soft and it works then I don't I don't mind I don't mind I really like the coverage of this foundation because it's not like extreme full coverage but it still does a good job of covering up the things that you kind of want covered so I'm just gonna do my forehead now or my fifth head whichever you want to call it I think it's funny when you hear this tapping sound it's very interesting it's a very interesting sound I do it around my eyes too I know some people don't like to put foundation around their eyes I always do I don't know maybe that's why mine always tend to look creepy and crazy unless I use my certain specific products so that could very well be it What in the world? I feel like I've got a patch here that's not filling in. Do you guys see that? I don't know what that's coming from. Let's see if I flip sides here. I wonder if it's that eye cream. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see if I can rub it in. We've got like a big patch there and then like it's like an empty patch here. It's really weird. It's like as soon as I put it on, it comes right back off. That was interesting. It's, I think, a little better now. It's under my eye, it looks a little weird. But it's a little better. Not perfect, but you know what? Neither am I, so. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, done with that part. It's not perfect, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not really going anywhere. So, I need to pull my hair back. Now that I've dried it, now it's like getting in my way. So, let me grab this little Ariana headband. Let's put this one on this will keep it back out of my face I can't stand to feel like there's a hair on your face I can't stand wet hair I'm like really picky with hair <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna go in with one of the palettes I got from ipsy 
So I have two color rain palettes here. I have the Mimosa Moment and the Vineyard Soiree. So the Mimosa Moment is the one that's like, just like, reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked for some reason. The Naked Basics, I think is what it's called. And then we have the Soiree one. I think I'm going to go in with the Basics just because my shirt's going to clash with the color in the uh, Vineyard Soiree. So we're going to go in with the Colored Rain mimosa moment i think this is the one that actually came with the subscription box anyway so this is the one they actually sent me the other one i added on so i'm gonna go in with this right here this is the ecm tool i don't know where i got half these brushes a lot of them came from subscription companies and then i don't know where the rest came from <laughs> i've bought some obviously as well so i'm gonna go in with this light shade right here oh i didn't prime my eyelid <laughs> need to prime my eyelid where is my mac Henry paint pot here it is so here is the MAC Pen Really Paint Pot. I'm going to use this to prime my eyelid. I'm just going to go in with my ring finger and prime my eyelid with it. That's going to work good enough. Good enough. I really like the MAC Pen Really Paint Pot. I don't know why I'm saying it's going to work good enough because MAC Pen Really Paint Pot I think works really, really well for me. I like that I don't have any issues with it creasing. I like that it helps to maintain my shadow. I think it makes it a little bit more bold, a little bit brighter. So I just really like it. I think it's good. I'm going to pause you guys for one second because I think my battery might be dying. Okay, it wasn't dying. I don't know. I saw something blinking up there and I thought, okay, the battery's dying. I don't know what it was. I don't know. My, my camera's just going crazy. So I'm going to go into the shade right here. There is no shade name on it. I'm going to top it off. And just lightly dust that all over my eyelid. So are you guys really excited to get out and about again? Or are you already out and about? I'd love to know. What are some things you're doing while you're out and about? We have not really been out and about yet. Not yet. I We're still in the process of our house that we're trying to get. So right now we're, we are looking and uh i think we found the one we want but we're kind of waiting a little bit so we'll see what happens i think we know which one we're gonna get though which makes me really happy going in with this shade right here i probably didn't tell you this is barely even showing up on my eyelid i'm like am i what am i even doing it's not even making a difference nice i'm wasting my time here that would have been better to kind of blend out i think like if you want to go in with us a little bit deeper then it would have been better to blend out. This is the Ipsy Tetris brush. I'm going to go in with this shade right here now. See if I can get a little more color to show up here. Somebody show up here. Show up to work today. Come in here and do your job. Do an eye, be an eyeshadow. Alright, that's a little better. Oops, I almost went into the wrong shade. Hmm. <laughs> you guys ever done that? Like you're doing an eye look and you go in to do the next eye and you go into the absolutely the wrong shade? I've done that so many times. It's not even funny. You're like, wait, was that the color? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm going to go in a little bit more. These are not very pigmented, which can be a good thing. These are kind of like buildable. That can be a good thing. Whereas like the Visart or Viseart palette, like, oh my gosh, that one is very, very pigmented. And you have to lay down a base in order to actually get that one to blend out because I've have had issues where if I didn't put down like that powder base first, good luck blending. <laughs> it would take forever to blend it out. So this one here is more buildable. I feel like you can definitely build it up, but it's just not coming off super pigmented. It's blending out pretty well. I mean, it's not having any issues blending, which is nice. I do like colored wing, wing, colored wing, colored rain. I like their eyeshadows. I think they're really good. I really like the queen of hearts. That one's really nice so but i don't have that much experience with them to be honest so i don't have i haven't tried that many eyeshadows now i'm gonna go in with the deepest shade right there and just kind of do the outer portion here and then blend 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 we all know jacqueline hill had it right when she told everybody just keep blending i feel like whenever i think that though i think of little nemo i think of like just keep swimming so sometimes I'll start humming that in my head while I'm doing my eyeshadow. You guys ever do that? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep blending, just keep blending. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm a little weird. I am weird. So now I'm going to blend out real good here. So I'm going to set the palette down. And I'm going to wipe off the excess 
uh, shadow for my brush. I'm just using my little thing. I do have the Vera Mona color switch here as well, so I could use that. Probably would make it easier and better, honestly. So let's do that. Now I'm just going to blend. I like for everything to kind of look very seamless. I don't like to see a whole lot of lines or anything, like different colors blending together. I just like it all to look very seamless. So does that make sense? I don't know if it makes any sense at all, but that's what I'm going to say. Because I make no sense. Do you guys see all the rain going on in the on the West Coast? If you are from the West Coast, I hope you are okay. I hope that if you're getting any of that rain that everything your house you and your family everything is okay i saw so much rain coming out there and i was like oh my gosh that's crazy all right so now i'm going to go in with where is here it is i love this little brush this is was called the it's like a rubber brush i don't remember what it's actually called but it was like the sephora collection brush i love this for putting on like shimmers their work it works really well so i'm going to go in with this color right here and i'm just going to pat the little brush right across it basically it's not a brush it's just a piece of rubber so but it what it does is it will really intensify and pack the color on for you really nicely so do you see how good it does i really think it does a good job and then because it's like that rubber it just picks up everything very effortlessly i just like it i think it works really well i like it I don't even know if Sephora sells this anymore. I think they stopped selling it. I'm like, why? This is really good. I don't understand why you would quit selling it. I did buy myself a backup when I saw that they had gone on sale. So I was like, well, if mine ever breaks, I know I want a backup. It does come with another brush that's kind of rounded. That one's weird to use. I don't really like that one, but I do like the flat one. The flat one works really, really well. Especially for getting in like small spaces so now I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit it doesn't come super clean either that's the only problem like when you're wiping it but there's nothing else coming off of it so that's good now I'm gonna go into the deeper shimmer shade here and I'm just gonna put that on the outer portion right there kind of blend these together blend 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 there we go See, that's not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, so I'm done with that for now. All right, now I'm going to do my brows. And for brows, I'm going to use this right here. This is the Ulta Beauty Slim Brow Pencil in the Ash Taupe. I always bought just taupe thinking that was my color, but I realized the Ash Taupe works so much better because it's more gray toned than it is the orange tone. Oops, I think this one might be dying. <laughs> we can, I'm going to finish this one up while we're doing this today. So it works really well because it's very fine and thin and you can kind of flick those brow hairs and draw them in really easily and it's very affordable. It's the Ulta brand product so and sometimes you can get really good deals on the Ulta ones like they have buy one get one free, buy two get two free. I love when they have deals like that on stuff like this because then I stock up like big time. I'll show you guys because I'm going to have to pull another one out. I know. I know I'm going to have to pull another one out. I need to dye my hair. My hair looks terrible. I did buy a new dye kit. I'm going to try it because I'm still not ready to go to the salon yet, even though I probably should because we're getting so close to the vow renewal. I should probably let somebody professional do my hair because if I goof it up now, it could ruin our wedding pictures. You know what? I just thought about that. That's probably not the greatest idea. I already had to use color oops once while we we're in all staying home. So really don't want to have to do that again. Don't want to be wearing red hair when my hair is definitely doesn't want to be red my hair well I don't want my hair red I want my hair more blonde I would like for it to be more ash blonde oh, that's the problem and I keep getting like this yellow blonde and I'm like what in the world looks like I'm growing hay in my hair like it feels like hay sometimes and it looks like hay so I think it's hay if it walks like a duck quacks like a duck <laughs> it's probably a duck so there's brow one yeah this is Oh, we got a little bit left here. I think we might be able to get just maybe the outline drawn. So I'll go in and try to do the bottom first. And just kind of wing it out. Hopefully this is looking okay because my mirror is really far away. So hopefully it's looking not too shabby. Now I'm going to start flicking up. 
creating those brow hairs yet yeah, and we're out we're out guys so there's an, another empty to go in my, my empty thing all right so brows i've got this whole drawer here full of brow products <laughs> and look all of these except for this one this one is it too and this one is it this one is it this one is it this is it these are all the ulta brand ones that's how many ulta brand ones i purchased because they work so well so if you guys are looking for affordable brow products try this one i got them all in different colors too which is helpful but at the same time not so much so let me grab another ash taupe so i've got the ash taupe here um the only thing that sucks is they have that little <gasps> there goes my artificial nail oh my gosh that looks really pretty now <laughs> you guys i can't do a manicure like this you should have known these were not mine and i just broke one so i'm gonna see if i can just twist it i broke both thumbs off so far <laughs> that's awesome i need to redo my nails these were not the good ones though these were i just picked these nails up at the actually the dollar tree because i was like i'm gonna try them out see how good they are well I put them on yesterday and they're all popping off so they're not good they're not good and I did use like the good um whatever it's called the the good nail glue I used the good nail glue so it's not that it's just that these like this one broke literally the nail broke like it broke in half so that's awesome I could probably try to fix it you know what I'm gonna try to cut this with this little tool here without cutting my fingers off let's not cut fingers off today Oh my gosh it's still not opening up that's the only thing bad about these is like they're impossible to open i really want to take my teeth i'm gonna do it don't fuss at me oh my gosh it's still not opening <laughs> are you serious what in the heck what is wrong with this thing it is not coming off today okay i got it that's like hard work here oh my gosh i popped off the lid oh my goodness now i popped off the other lid <laughs> i'm just gonna leave the other lid off for a minute so now we got the brow product finally all right you don't have to worry about somebody tampering with them in the store though i mean that's gonna be very obvious if they did because if they can get that wrapper off that wrapper is put on pretty tight so you don't have to worry about somebody touching your eyebrow product which is cool but at the same time when you get it home then it's like really hard to take to take off the plastic i'm oh, sorry first world problems right all right so just finished fluffing these out i like the more fluffy brows which i'm so happy that's like a trend that's in right now it's like a more fluffy brow i really like that but my brows i don't got much brow to do a fluffy brow i used to my brows when I was younger were, I used to have like really thick brows when I was younger. And then I'm like, what happened? They're not as thick anymore. They're not as luscious. What happened? Probably because I think we all went through that phase where we were just kind of like plucking them a little too much. So that's probably what happened. Most likely. All right. So now it's got a spoolie in the other end. So I'm just going to spoolie through them. Sorry, it took forever to do my brows today, guys. <laughs> not bad. Now I'm going to use this. This came out of my Ipsy box. This is the Wonder Beauty. This is the, I think it's just like a clear brow gel. So I'm going to use this to put on my brows to kind of set them in place. I do find that I have to set this brow uh, pencil in place because if you start to rub your brows, it will kind of rub away. So if you set it in place though with some sort of brow gel, then you're fine. You won't have to worry about it. And this also kind of like mimics your hair a little bit more too so it makes it look more like realistic so if you have sparse places like my biggest sparse places is like right here in the front so it's nice now i'm going to go ahead and conceal my under eyes i'm going to use my favorite the urban decay naked skin and i'm just going to conceal and then anything else that needs to be concealed what else do we need to conceal this little booger over here uh what is that going on there I have no idea. Let's just cover it up. All right, so I've got a hair stuck to this awesome sauce. All right, so now I'm going to use the sponge and just tap it in. 
I'm going to do my fingers actually underneath my eyes. I think my fingers work so much better under my eyes. Whoa, that concealer went really long way there. I'm blending it all the way out. <laughs> Good job. All right, so now I'm just going to take my fingers and do my under eyes. I think this just does better than the sponge does because I think the warmth of your fingers really helps to kind of get it to go where it needs to go and not look crazy. <laughs> so I really like this, the way you do it like this. I like to set my powder with my fingers too. I think it works really well that way. Because then I can get just a little bit of powder under my eyes anyway. I don't want to get set all over my face with my fingers. That would be probably hard to do. But under my eyes it works really well. So there. My under eyes do not look good. I'm not sure what's going on here today. But we are not looking good under there. So I'm going to go in with my Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. I think we're just about out of this. Yeah, we're getting very, very low. All right, so I'm going to go in with that. I'm just going to put a little on my finger. You see it's just a tiny little bit. A little bit. I'm going to start in the outer corner and then work my way in. Start that way and just set it all over. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think it's that eye cream. I don't think... I have tried it with this foundation yet and look what it's doing it's literally pulling apart oh that's lovely good job Tiff. maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do what do you guys think <laughs> probably not that's all right i'm literally gonna put makeup on and i'm gonna go make dinner so <laughs> it's not gonna be the end of the world i don't think my family is going to be like yow your makeup it looks like really patchy my family's going to be like, what's to eat? And that's all they're going to care about. Okay, so that part's done. Now, what do I need to do? Oh my gosh, I have hair all over me. I'm going bald, I think. Now I need to go ahead and... Let's go ahead and... We could do my lashes, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, let's do lashes. <laughs> going to use the Ciate. Nope, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this one first. I'm going to use a combo because I think this works really well as a combo. So this is the Wonder Beauty Mile High Cloud Volume and Lengthening Mascara. And then this is the Ciate Triple Shot XXL Mascara. So the Ciate came in my Ipsy and the Wonder Beauty came in my BoxyCharm. So I'm going to use the Wonder Beauty one first. And then I'll go in with the, the um, Ciate one. So I'm going to I need my mirror. Oh my gosh. Always prepared. Always, always. So this is my little simple, simple human mirror that my husband got me. It works really well for me, like to put on, like mascara, as well as it works really well for me to do um, my, like brows. Like if I need to trim any stray brows, it does have a little light on it, which is really cool. This is what happens when you cannot see very well. You need something really close up so you can see. I have really terrible vision. I need to go to the eye doctor. So I put a complete full coat of this on and then I'll put a complete full coat of the Ciate on. I don't put mascara on my under, like what is that called, your your lashes, your, your bottom lashes. I just, I've never liked it on me. I know some people look really good with it, but me, I do not. So. Do you see what I mean? Like this is good, but it's not great. This is not great mascara in my opinion. I think it works better like in combination with another one. Sorry, I'm quiet. Sometimes you have to concentrate a little bit when you're putting your mascara on. I am terrible at mascara anyway, so I really have to concentrate. All right, so that's the first coat. Now I'm going to go in with the Ciate one. So I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to go in with the Ciate XXL. This one does have a little bit bigger of a wand, but it's not too big. It's still a decent size. I'm going to grab my mirror again. I don't think either one of these mascaras is great by themselves. I think they work really well together though, which is really weird. I 
I got mascara on my eyelid, but we'll just let it dry and we'll get it off. It's no worries. Okay, so do you see how much better it looks now? It looks a lot more fuller. Kind of spattery if you like that type of lashes. This eye I have the hardest time on. Do you guys have like one eye where you're just like, mm -hmm, forget it. Don't look at this eye. I'm going to wear a patch on it. That's what we're going to do. That's what I feel like with my left eye. All right, so that's good enough. Let me leave my mirror set here because I am going to have to use a little Q-tip to clean up because I did make a mess. I'm always making a mess. Now I'm going to go in with the Real Her. This is the Cheek Trio. So I'm going to use this to actually put, this is going to just be like a little bit of a bronze. This came in my Ipsy, so I'm going to use this brush right here. Whoops, I just threw it. I'm going to use this brush right here. This is the Cheeky End, and this is by the Farrah Brushes. It's actually pretty good, so I'm going to use this to bronze up just a little bit. Give myself a little bit of warmth here. So I don't look like I've been sitting inside all day. I have. I have been though. It's the truth. It's actually the truth. Okay. Looking a little more alive. Take it down my neck a little bit. I'm not the greatest with like beauty application like makeup application so if you guys do this better don't follow my rules don't I don't have any rules anyway to me there are no rules in makeup the only rule is to have fun and enjoy it that's the only rule in my opinion so if you have rules that you follow maybe you should tell us what some good ones are because like honestly I don't mm, I don't have any rules hard specific rules so now I'm going to go into goddess I'm going to tap into that with this little brush right here and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone a little bit. I think this is an SL Miscalium brush. I'm pretty sure it is. And then I'm also going to take my ring finger and I'm going to tap into Goddess as well. And I'm just going to barely tap it right there in the inner corner just to brighten that area up a little bit. Give it a little bit of brightness. That always works. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Besame brush. I'm gonna use that for my blush. I'm gonna tap in here. And I like to take my blush and kind of go up with it. And then I take it across my nose to kind of make it look like you're out in the sun a little bit. Look like you gotta have a little bit of tan. Look like you actually didn't live inside for the last three months. <laughs> All right, so that part's done. Now I need to highlight. So let's highlight my cheekbones. I was going to use this Girl Acta, but I really don't like it. I don't love cream products. I'm just not a cream product fan. I know everybody's getting into cream products. I just, I don't like them. Look at that. I accentuated my zit. Good job, Tiff. That's what we all want. An accentuated zit. <laughs> now I'm going to take it down my nose. Okay. I have an accentuated zit. Guys, if you didn't see it before, you can totally see it now. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is use my Tristy lip product. And I have three of them here to choose from, so I think I'm gonna use this one right here. These came on my Ipsy. This is the mini lip glaze, and this is an English rose. I really like this color. They're not like real pigmented. They're basically almost like a, a gloss. It's just like a wash of color. I like how tiny they are, and I feel like you can do a good job with them, though. Matches my shirt, but it doesn't match my eye look. <laughs> yeah, how about? All right, so now I'm gonna clean up my mess on my eyelid. So I've got a dry Q-tip here, and I'm gonna clean up. So let me get close so you can see what I'm gonna do. Just going to take wherever there was dry mascara. And I'm going to kind of like flake it off here. 
and you shouldn't mess up your eyelet too much if you do it's okay to go back in and fix it so clean it off so that's all you have to do just wait for it to dry though if you don't let it dry then it's going to smear all over so i think we are done and all i've got to do is if i'm going to do something to my hair or not i'm not sure i might just kind of leave it alone to be honest with you i don't mind it being like this actually i need to spray this is actually not a setting spray this is like a um i don't know it's like it's like a um what is it called toner it's like a toner but i'm going to use it as like a setting spray because i don't really need it to last i just want it to look hydrated so and this really does hydrate your skin this is by seven days vitamin mist this is phyto c Sop complex so it's got a bunch of different food vitamins in here so i'm going to spray this all over And then to dry it, I'm going to use my cute little fan here. There we go. Kind of just melts your makeup into your skin a little bit better. So it just kind of like looks better in my opinion. So that is it. If you guys enjoyed my get ready with me, you'll have to let me know if you want to see more of these didn't really talk about anything important. It was basically just a bunch of gibberish, but that's okay, right? Anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the products I use today. If you have any questions about anything I've used today, let me know. I will definitely be able to try to answer those for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.